And I'm Liz. I'm a college graduate, and I expect the best. I'm the driven one. And I'm trying to have a life. Our PR firm is called Publicity. It's based off our names. Really amazing. Well, it's like funny because like we're very different. Right. It's like I live to work. Exactly, and I just want to have an amazing life. Like that's just me on myself. Okay, that's great. Well, you know, it's my point is it's not just people that get cancer. Dogs get it too. Oh my god, I love dogs. I, I want to raise awareness for that. That's what my charity is for. I hear you two are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's like what we're gonna do is like a big party, like a big splash. Oh my god, I have an amazing idea. Okay. Pirate Girl Rum presents a rockin' beach bash to benefit cupcakes for canine cancer. That's cute. Super cute. I'm gonna work hard on locking down some custom cupcakes. <gasps> And my new rescue dog, Brad, can totally walk the red carpet. I found him in the trash. He's gross. Yes, he is. He's disgusting. I just want it to be tasteful. Oh my god, that's oh my so god. cool. That's, sweet. that's, that's sweet. really nice. cute. That's sweet. that's sweet. Coming up next on Publicity. I like to work hard. Obviously, I know how to do my life. Like, I'm 28 years old and I know what to do. So, thank you. You know what I mean? It's like, just go to bed. Where the f is Liz? <laughs> So we have this like super demanding client. He wants the best and he wants it now. And Liz disappears with her dog. Like we're here for you. Like you have the red carpet event. Like you need to focus on what you want. It's about you. Like what do you want? I mean, what are you looking for exactly? Like I just feel like he looks like his face is very frowny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll take care of that. He'll be very happy when we're done with him. Dr. Armand is an amazing plastic surgeon for dogs. You know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the face a lot more symmetrical. Because I hate how he looks now. Mm -hmm. You speak to him and he listens to you and then he does the operation. We'll snip out the... Oh, yeah. It's like, I don't want something in my home that's like ugly because... You, you wouldn't buy an ugly sofa. No, and like you wouldn't talk to an ugly person. No, I don't. I, I only hire very attractive people and my third wife is one of the most beautiful women that I know. Congratulations. Thank you. No, just do it. Hey, Liz. I'll call you back, just do it. Weigh it. There's a problem with the cupcakes. Cassie, the cupcakes are crucial. I know, believe me. Then act like you know, okay? Yes. Where is Liz? I can't put on this Pirate Girl rum presents a rock and beach bash to benefit cupcakes for canine cancer all on my own. I invented this magic marker. Good for you. Yeah, it's the only one that you can use to write on dogs. That's amazing. I call it a Sharpay. Does it come off? I cut it off and then I bleach it. Amazing. I have so much pressure right now. Nice. It's like a very competitive industry. Inside, I'm freaking out about the cupcakes. The cupcakes don't even look that good in this What did you just eat? I'm so what did you just eat? Forget it. Just forget it. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I'm on the San Diego diet, so I'm like super emotional right now. I'll treat you nice. Liz is not cut out for this business. I am like being chill and Liz is being like not cool. Hey Tootsies, oh my goo goo. My dog is gonna look amazing for the event. Well, I am not feeling amazing right now. Like, talk to me, like I left you here and now you're like spinning out of control. I'm not spinning out of control. You're freaking me out because you're not responsible. Liz, get out of my face. Like, I want this to be fun. Like, I want to have a good time. Like, you're riding so hard right now. Yes, by the way, it's like ridiculous that you could ever want to see something like this. Don't else. call me ridiculous. You know that's my pet peeve. Like, my dad always called me ridiculous, and I always- You look ridiculous right Stop now. it, Liz. You I know what I mean like. I don't even know if we're gonna make it out of this. Leader on publicity. <gasps> I'll treat you so tonight is our huge charity event. We still have a bunch of balls up in the air and I am freaking out. Stop taking pictures, there's still work to be done. I'm trying to have fun. It's not fun when you're being a bitch. That's what you think, like, hi, how are hi, you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Sorry my hat.
guys are so cool. So far, the party's been like a really big success, but underneath, I'm freaking out about the kit case. Oh, how are you? Guys, it's our hey, Prince Charming. Oh. Like this client knows what he wants, he wants it now, he wants it when he wants it, and we have to give it to him. Otherwise, nobody will want anything from us ever again. Liz. Wow. Yeah. The cupcakes are here. Bring them out. <gasps> cupcakes look amazing. The cupcakes look amazing. They're wearing little bikinis. They're ready for the pool. This is not what I envisioned. I'm all about work, and the work we put into these cupcakes are really paying off in an amazing week. These cupcakes are having a party. Oh, Brad! Brad is so confident. He's like a completely new dog. When push comes to shove, I wouldn't trust my dog's plastic surgery with anybody but Dr. Armand. Brad, you look absolutely gorgeous. The event cost $20,000, and it brought in $4,000, and I feel foolish. To see these cupcakes and Brad come together in such an amazing way makes me realize how important your friendship is to me, and I love you so much. I love you too, Liz. I would say we are BFF. I'll treat you nice. So this morning we have a meeting with like a very demanding new client, the CEO of Cultured Yogurt Water, and Liz better wake up. Yogurt water? I wow. love it. I think like a lot of women really want to drink something that's like medium thick. Try it. I'm gonna try it, if you don't mind. Like, I lie in meetings a lot, it's true. I like the idea of just like sucking down one of these little things. But like in this case, I really do hate water. Like, I hate it. It's like very exciting to be trying a new beverage. <laughs> I love it, it's delicious. Thank you. I like water, but I want that sour taste that like only yogurt can bring. So what can we do to help promote your product? Um, let's see. Oh, I just had an amazing idea. What if we did an event? Liz! I'm sorry, you are a genius. I love you. I love you too. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. Here's what I'm thinking we should do. Cultured water is like very cultured. And like, what is the most cultured thing? Oh my God, England. Oh London, God. England. Oh my God, I love London, England. So it's like a theme party all about London, England and cultured waters. Mm -hmm. And then we can have like Adele perform. We should have Adele perform. I, mean, I think Adele might be a little expensive, so mm -hmm, maybe we should mm -hmm. think I some could, other I artists. could perform then. I could do it. I could actually just complete the performance. I could do it. I could perform. Right? You don't perform. Mm. Liz is like crazy untalented, and I don't know if she can deliver. So I'm thinking, what if we had anybody else perform? Mm, or I could do it. Or you know what we could do is we could just have like a monkey with Down syndrome mm. smashing on cymbals. Mm. I thought that was like a good possibility for something to do. You know what, Liz? I'm gonna stop you right there because I would be so nervous for you if that tiny monkey with the brain problem were to jump up and just scratch on someone's face. It's like the client's decision. Whatever you think is best is fine. So like either we do the monkey or something else or we have Liz sing. Right, and like whatever you think is free. Well, why don't we try it? Why doesn't Liz have a song? Free, amazing. Let's try it. I would love to sing at your event. Well, that's proof positive right there that we should think of a bunch of options. Coming up next on Publicity. What is she doing? I'll treat you next. So the party is going like amazing. Like everything is like really English. Hey, oh my God, how are you? Thank you, Cassandra. I just like don't know if Liz could like bring it. I'm backstage totally calm and ready to take on the performance. I think what we're doing is just like building anticipation. You know that feeling of like, oh my God, is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Is like, it gonna happen? Oh my God, you look amazing. Oh my God, you look amazing. Are you putting on weight? Wait, wait. The client is ready and then she's super demanding. She knows exactly what she wants right. and like what she wants is a great night. Liz. Uh huh. I feel like you think I'm not gonna deliver. Oh my God. Why would I put our business at risk? Like if you don't want to swim, Of course. And then like just do it. Right. It's gonna be fine. So I will. <laughs> I'm like freaking out. Am I gonna have to get up there and sing myself? I have a beautiful voice, but I have not sang since my bot mitzvah. Oh my God, here she is.
Hold on. What is she doing? Look at me, don't look at me. I'm the one who knows who's me. I'm the queen, the queen of me. Oh my god, my voice sounds amazing. I am the queen of me. I always had total faith that Liz could deliver, and she did. I need a drink, water. It's like so on brand. It's like perfect for culture of water, right? She's really delivering. Did you remember to refrigerate this? Wait yeah. up! The... I'm the queen, the queen of me. Queen of me to the land of England. <laughs> Apparently, they neglected to refrigerate the yogurt drinks. Everyone got sick. It's been all over the internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll treat you. Previously on Publicity. Will you make me the happiest football player in the NFL? Oh my god, Namdi Asama, all pro quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. What are you doing? I am so <laughs> As with all of my edible arrangements, it is extremely urgent. I need it at Sony by two o'clock. That's dos o'clock. Thank you, gracias. Free your body. Yeah, what's up, Liz? Hey, Liz. Liz. What is that, like for real? Oh wait, uh, this iced coffee? Oh my God, this. Are you uh, talking about this? Uh, oh my God, this is my engagement ring to be married. What? Wait. Obvi, it's not a race, but it is a contest. I'm like, I won. You probably know who he is because he's like a very famous professional athlete. His name is Namdi Asamoa. <laughs> Aw, uh, this is not past the smell test. Like, it stinks, like it's fishy. Like, you see like rich or like whatever. The kind of rich where like, I'll never have to worry ever about anything ever again. Yeah. Wow, like that's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. <clears throat> I'm just like so happy for you because you're like five years old and like somehow this has worked out. I'm just like so happy for myself and like so worried for you because like obviously you're like eight years old huh. and like you've obviously like spent your time partying and stuff like that. Thank and, you. And it's starting to take a toll on your face and your body. Well, I love like, to have fun. And like the boyfriends that you have had sure. who are like really bad for you uh -huh. and like come over and on your stomach. Well, and I love like, to have fun. Yeah, no, no totally, right, totally. Absolutely. Uh -huh. But like whatever works for you, like works for you and that's amazing. Thank you. Go. Later on Publicity. We have a problem. All of Nandi's friends are complaining that the chairs are too small. I'll treat you nice. I still need a flower girl because my family's a bunch of sure. So I'm meeting with a friend of my colorist who has a kid to see if it's like a fit. So like I was wondering if your daughter would be available to be the flower girl at my wedding. Yeah, we could do that. You kind of have the same hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so right? fun. She is perfect. I think she'd do really well. Awesome, cool. What do you I have lipstick on. I wear lipstick too. What do you wear, MAC? Yes, hi, um, I'm looking for the head of marketing for Under Armour. Work is turning out to be less fun than fun. What? Oh, he's not there? Well, oh, wait, so like he'll call me back? Cassandra, like, honestly, focus on what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, Violet, throw the petals out like you're a flower girl, okay? Yeah. You just throw them out. Okay, that's like not exactly how I would want it to go down. So like, if that happened at the wedding, like I would probably freak out, like in a major way, like, um, I will become a dragon monster. I called Under Armour and they were like at lunch or something. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like call you back? That's like awful. literally you're gonna eat a sandwich right now because it's like lunchtime or whatever. I it's know. like middle school stuff, like such drama. Like I feel like I'm in like middle school right now. I feel like I'm like learning like about like ancient Egypt or like whatever. Like I'm like, no, I don't really care about the pharaohs right now. I'm trying to get a sponsor. Like I, I'm just yeah. like so upset about it. I'm like, either you call me, like I'm not gonna talk about the pharaohs with you. Like it's not middle school. No, I understand. It's like that's something that's like very important. Like in order to make this work and like get a sponsor for Liz's wedding, like you have to do it. And like I'm gonna like go somewhere else. Free your minutes. What's up, girls? Where's Liz? Um, she stepped out a couple hours ago. Excuse me, wait. 
Oh, look who the cat dragged him. Where have you been? What? I'm assuming from your shopping bag that you're enjoying your leisure time, which means I assume that you've gotten Under Armour to sign on to be the sponsor for my wedding? Well, like, for your FYI, Cassandra is on it. Like, she's been working around the clock. So, like, Cassandra's handling this now? I still have, like, my finger in it. Like, deep in it. Like, I'm in it. Okay, so maybe I should just, like, have her be my maid of honor. If you want to. Great. So then, like, maybe she could also handle the publicity for the wedding. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? You are being such a bridezilla right now. Oh my god! I'm allowed to be a bridezilla. The fact that you'd even like bring up anything to like me. Coming up next on publicity. Oh my god, where's that flower girl going? Wait, what? OMG, you've got to be kidding me. I'll treat you right. I wasn't sure if Liz was gonna come through with a sponsor, so I sold some space on my dress. Did you know I cut a deal with Sandy on diet before the wedding? Oh yeah, you're like a genius. Well, I may have started at Binghamton, but I finished at Syracuse. You'll always be my best friend. It's like I've been juggling so many balls, but like today is my day, okay? Okay. Great. But Liz, what you? promise me one thing. Charlie. That that is the last bit of work that you will do today. Okay, fine. Liz. Wait. I got something for you. Cassandra! Liz. Yeah. Something old. Okay. Something new. Okay. Logos. Something borrowed. Uh huh. And something blue. Oh my God! Look at this. They're naughty. Hold on. Wait. They're all Under Armour. You did get a sponsor. I love you. Love you. Everything looks amazing. Thank you. I just think I couldn't even. No, you look amazing. It's like, like I couldn't even imagine. Oh, like I couldn't even imagine if someone else had. To... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the live streaming publicity wedding. Liz and Namdi have actually written their own vows, which is fun. So, Liz, if you want to go first. Thank you, dear Namdi. You were the one for me from the very start. I knew that from the depths of my very doubtful heart. Whether it was when I met you after stalking you after a game, things with are never lame with you. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. Namdi, go ahead. Liz, I'm so excited to be getting married to you today. Thank you. You seem like a really, really cool chick. And uh, I just want everyone here to know that you just got Namdi. <laughs> what? There's a camera here, camera there, camera here. You just got Namdi. What? Are you saying what or why? What? It, it doesn't matter. Look, the what is this is my prank show, and the why is because you're a beast. I don't know what this happened. Good job. Okay. Good sport. We. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, did you know about this? They're like, what? No, but now I know about it because the prank just happened. Oh my God. But like, is this not exactly how I pictured my Do I just like walk back down? Yeah, right, 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 that's right. Oh, like, yeah. She's probably like head out. Do I just like walk back down? Liz, I'm so sorry. About what? that like your wedding was ruined and you were pranked in front of like national television. Like it's good karma um, that you let him be successful at something, even if that was like to completely prank you and like fool you and like call you a beast and like say that it was hilarious and like make you wear that hat. Yeah. When push comes down to it, like I'll always be here for you because you're my best friend. I'm just so happy that if I had to get pranked on national television by a professional football player for his show, that you were by my side the whole time. Yeah. I'm not crazy, right? No, you just got pranked. Do I have anything in my teeth? Coming up, it's the publicity wedding red carpet recap. I came as a joke. Um, I'm on shrooms. My heart's beating so fast, I can't believe I ran into you. I, I want to thank Bob Rosenstein, the head of the network. I got to say, like Liz and Liz, I love them as producers. They've been very kind to me, giving me the opportunity to go do the show I want to do. Roman, what did you think of that outrageous prank in there? Man, that wasn't a real prank. You ever see too much tuna? Oh, sure. That's a prank, man. Again, just very excited about uh, the publicity wedding finale and about the upcoming season of uh, Armand Around the World. 
treat you right. Liz, is it swimsuit season? Huh? Is he just like Ralphed? I can tell that there's something wrong with Liz because we're like twins. People mistake us for one another all the time and not just on the phone. Liz, I don't want to say anything too early because like I want it to be like a lady about it because that's like my vibe. But like honestly, the cat's like pretty much out of the bun and like. What? I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. Thank you. I'm lit. My body is changing, and so are my priorities. And I'm lit. If I have to do all the work, then I'm not going to work at all. I'm the bigger one. And this is temporary. Our PR firm is called Publicity. It's face not very mean. You have milk voice. Shut up, Liz. I'm keeping it this time. See? Amazing. Thank you. OMG, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you get pregnant from a guy blasting on your stomach. I'm trying to think about the different guys that are probably on your stomach that you would then scoop that into your vagina, like using a piece of paper or well, like. Well, that know, would be plate. like an alternative list because, like, this time the fellow, like, actually, like, looked me right into my face. And, like, when he saw my face, that's exactly the moment that, like, he shot up his stuff, like, right inside of my thing. The father of the baby is a toilet baby, Caesar. And, like, I don't care who knows that, except for, like, most of the people that I know. Like, I don't want them to know because I'm, like, horrified by it and, like, very embarrassed. Stater, give me the bucket. I just keep throwing up. Are you sure that's not some guy's? What? Oh, the stuff. Who can never be sure? Extraordinary. My doctor says that I need to be in bed rest. Keeping the baby? Bed rest? Um, I was about to lose my cool. I heard like people die if they stop working. If that is the case, I would be a ghost blinking at you from the other dimension. Right, but you can still work from home. You have a computer. Like I will be at home, but like my niece to niece is coming to visit me. So like I might actually be like impossible to reach. Wait, your niece to niece is coming to visit you? Mm. Wait, your niece to niece is coming to visit you? Mm. My niece to niece is coming to visit me in Los Angeles. And like, frankly, I don't know what to do with a child. Like, honestly, Liz, maybe you can't like understand what I'm saying because I'm speaking to you from like within the circle of women who like are lucky enough to become mothers. I think I could probably do a much better job of taking care of your niece and niece or your own baby or this business than you ever could. Like, I'm gonna take my own advice and like, I'm gonna like go to bed and that's what you're left with. So I'm storming out. Cassandra, clean up the bucket, it's disgusting. Coming up next. On Publicity. Where's my niece, Denise? Um, hello? Yeah, may I help you? I'm just, um, Denise. I'll treat you nice. So Liz has abandoned us, so it's up to us to pick up the slack, okay? Um, hello? Yeah, may I help you? Um, I'm Denise. Yeah, my name is Liz. I'm part of Publicity. It's based off our names. Uh, I, do you know where my Aunt Elizabeth is? Okay, you guys, get the f out of here, okay? Hi, sweetheart. Um, I'm my Aunt Elizabeth's, um, niece, Denise. And she... What the heck? That's Cassandra. You don't have to pay attention to her, okay? So. You came here to see your Aunt Elizabeth. Exactly, my Aunt Elizabeth invited me to come and visit her, and so I did. And she sent me in a limousine from the airport. I feel like I should call my parents and tell them that my Aunt Elizabeth didn't come after the limo. Do your parents talk about your Aunt Elizabeth? They said that she's a piece of trash person. You're funny, I like you. You're funny, you're basically the largest woman I've ever seen. Oh my God, thank you. You're welcome. Maybe we should like go out to lunch and just have like girl talk. Is this a trick? Looking at this sweet, lost little girl, it's like me and my mothering instincts, it's like, kick it!
and like now I just like want to eat salad. It's like crazy. It's like that's what I'm craving. So like that's what I'm having for lunch. Nice shoes. I like those. Oh, you like them? Yeah, they're great. Yeah, we got them on a shopping spree today. It's amazing what you can get shopping. Wait, hold on one second. Are you a photographer? Yeah. Well, this is Denise. She's visiting. Hi. Hey. Oh my God, I just had an amazing idea. There's like crazy artistic chemistry happening here. Would you be interested in doing a photo shoot with Denise so she gets some like headshots and stuff? What do you think? I mean, of course I want to take pictures of her. Am I being discovered right now? And if so, can you please take my picture by a coconut palm tree? I can take your picture next to just about anything. Let's start right now. Okay, you know what? I just have to take this call. You guys yeah. sit down and figure wait, it out. I'm no, Liz? just do it. I gotta wait, take wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? No, Cassandra, you're being a f***ing idiot. Liz! Liz? Oh, are you sorry? Can I see? Can I see? Oh, these are great. Can I see it? May I please see it? Oh, that was a wink, like oh old God, fashioned. I see magazine covers here. Really? Do you know where Liz went? Who's Liz? Liz is my... Liz is my... Liz is my... You're my niece now. I'll treat you nice. How's the portrait coming along, Cassandra? I just like hate every photo ever taken of me, and this is supposed to be for my profile picture on Facebook. Oh, well, I decided to get out of bed for once. Has anyone seen my niece, Denise? Oh, actually. Cassandra, not now. I'm busy. But <clears throat> stress is not good for babies, but like luckily for the fetus, I'm one of the chillest people in California. I am fucking flipping out right now. I know that my niece and niece got picked up from the airport because my limo app keeps saying Dunzo. Really, Liz? You send a limo to pick up your niece? I would have been in that limo because every niece deserves an Aunt Charming. <laughs> I'm not always honest with you, and I'm gonna be like completely honest with you. So shoot it into my face. Yeah, like basically the idea that you feel like you're ready to bring a baby into the world, but you can't even keep track of your own niece and niece. Dude. You're at home, like, doing nothing, like, home alone, like, ah, no. I hope a big bucket of nails runs into your face, like, at 100 miles per hour. Well, I just hope, like, a glue sheet flies in your face and you get, like, feathers oh on your God. Honestly, I feel so much pressure right now because, like, I'm taking care of the business, I'm babysitting your niece and niece. Wait, I'm hold on. Did you see my niece and niece? Mm, we? Honestly, if you saw my niece and niece and you didn't even say anything to me when you didn't know exactly where I was camped out, not doing a single thing or a stitch of work, then I'm like, honestly, Liz, you don't need an apology. Sorry. Cassandra! Did you hear the apology that Liz gave to me because I was not able to hear it? I'm right behind you. <laughs> what is this? I know this face. I don't even know where. It's like a ghostly memory, but like. It's me. Oh my god, Liz. You look like, and I don't use this word lightly. Amazing. It's like a portrait, like based off my face. And that's like such a spook out, because like honestly, our company's like based off our name. Yeah, totally. It's like totally based off our names, and it's like great. You're my best friend. Friends. Like Liz, you're my best friend. And I just like love you so much. I love you too, Liz. Oh my God, Cassandra, why are you staring at us? You like pervert. Get a girlfriend. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but where is my niece Denise? Mm -hmm. You're my niece now. If you have any information or tips about the whereabouts of this young woman. Please send a stamped envelope to Publicity Entertainment or down to the precinct. I miss you when you're far away. I'll treat you right. I'm just getting started on like an amazingly scathing email. I'm so angry all the time and I find like email is like a really good place to take out that anger and sort of like in a logical, very fiery way. Oh my God, are you okay? Liz. What? I'm pregnant. 
We, we pregnant? This is not the first time I've told Liz about my pregnancy. But like you're carrying this one to term? I am decided to keep this one. Like I know many others have fallen away. First of all, I feel like blindsided by this. Like second of all, How like congratulations. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, just one quick. Cassandra, just wait for like a natural lull in the conversation. So I really loved working here. Abby. Yeah. But the time has come for me to move on. But don't worry. I am not going to leave you guys in the lurch. I've already found my replacement. I'm going to train him really, really well so that no business is interrupted in any like, way. Like, honestly, Cassandra, like, an, I'm like an open, kind spirit, and like, I don't hold a grudge. So I just want to say, like, I'm so happy for you that you're like taking time to like go out there and like do nothing and like try and find yourself and just like find out if your personality is. Where is he? I got my own reality show. What? It's about me and my family. Liz, how does your back feel right now? You know what, actually, like, my back hurts me a bit because I'm pregnant, wait, first wait. of all. I'm having a baby. Anything that makes me question my own place in my own life, I block it out. Liz might be pregnant with a baby right now, but I am pregnant with furiosity, okay? And I am not taking epidural because I want to feel everything. Coming up next. Come on, publicity. I found this guy. His name is Brenth. It's not my problem anymore. We have like an all hands on deck meeting later this afternoon. I would love to be there, but I actually have an audition at 11.45. It's for a play. Uh-huh. Of cruel intentions. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. But I will come in for on <laughs> <laughs> I love gay guys. So much. I'll treat you nice. Woof. Like, why is everyone so mad at me that like I'm not responding to their emails? It's like overwhelming. Like, what all happened here? That's weird. I don't have any emails. Like Yeah, Brent, you were supposed to handle like all of our work-related emails as our assistant. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm not like a techie. Totally. Like, you're our best friend. Like, we don't mean to cause, like, friction. Maybe I don't oh, like hack. My goo goo. Wow. Hey, guys. Look what the dog brought in. I think, like, the problem with, like, fat dad, dirty house, the curse of Cassandra is, like, the three elements. One of, like, the fat dad, because that's disgusting, a dirty house, because that's disgusting, and Cassandra, because that's, like, disgusting. Maybe she's just here for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> hi, guys. So funny. Um, oh, hi. Actually, Thank you, um, I brought cupcakes. <laughs> oh my God. God. Cupcakes, it must be a special occasion. Yeah, mm. like that it's late 2012 because honestly, Cassandra, cupcakes are out, supermarket cakes and donuts are in, and also, f you. Oh mm. my God, I did get an email. Yellowhead, hey. baby bump. How are you? I am moving on to a much better job. Are you, like, like, leaving us? Like, 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 working with you has been like, And, like, I'm pregnant. Like, this is hard for wait, me. Wait, wait. Oh, my God, this is, like, double bombshells. Like, where am I? In China during World War I? And those people, like, bit it, like, so hard. Like, honestly. This is how I'm going to remember you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you're, like, so sweet. Bye, 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 Bye. 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 <laughs> Cassandra! Cassandra! Get after the f phone! Good afternoon, publicity. It's based off our memes. I'll treat you nice. We have a meeting with the CEO of Bliss Doritos, a company under fire. Bliss Doritos is in need of a makeover. I'm sure you've heard we're in the middle of a class action lawsuit. I know, congratulations. No, it's bad. Oh. It's really bad. Due to Bliss Doritos causing facial uh, and head damage mm -hmm. to uh, everyone who eats it, volcano head. I think you're looking on like the negative side of things and like, let's look at the positive aspect of your product. Okay. This is like a healthy product and it's like delicious. Mm -hmm. It's not healthy. I can't say if it's delicious, I've never eaten it. Yeah, but like any press is good press. No, this is unanimously terrible press. Really? Mm. Oh, it's bad. Ooh. So the heads got like ruined? 400 fatalities. That's it? How about we just like dig into some ideas? Love like, it. how does that sound? Let's like, hear like it. we put together a binder with the name of our company on it. It's like not a big deal. Okay, here's the idea. Okay. It's called the Blisteritos Bus, and we send it to Inner City. Like, that's where like the kids are. It's based up in all 
fucked up by Blitz Doritos. I don't think we want to show a lot of the kids with the volcano heads. We tried that in a campaign. People hated seeing them. FYI, like, in college, my nickname was, like, Volcano Head. Because, like, I was guys off, and they're, well, they were just erupt. Great. We should go out sometime. Oh my god. Am I like stroking out right now? When I first met Trav, I was like repulsed by him, but like as he became more interested in Liz, I was like, this guy's actually gorgeous. We really need to just seem fun. Bliss Doritos are fun. They don't kill children. Right. Ooh, we could do like an app that counts like the deaths. Oh my god, okay, okay, how about this? Okay. okay. Bliss Doritos present. Dad Academy graduation congratulitos red carpet viewing party. That's good. We already sponsored their show, so that's uh, that that's perfect. Oh actually, wait, yeah. is this like graduation like actually gonna happen? And like, do you know if like Caesar will be there? Like, oh, Caesar will be there. Really? Yeah, and you guys will be there. Really? I kind of want to know whatever that like trash rat is that got impregnated by that toilet baby. I know. Who would sleep with the toilet baby? Honestly, though, <laughs> like if you actually look at it, like it could be like a businesswoman who like loves to have fun. As a sponsor, I know for a fact they're revealing the mother. Oh! I'll treat you nice. Yeah. So the Blisteritos presents Dad Academy Congratulitos Red Carpet Viewing Party was off to a blistering start. Uh, there were so many amazing guests at the red carpet. That guy from Pennsylvania came. What's up, weirdo? Yeah, dude. Keith Shawn was there. So I became a fashion designer this week and I made these really cool bags. These are amazing. Yeah, they're really great. They're not reversible and they light on fire very quickly. Oh my God, the perfect Oh my God, it's getting very, oh my God. Nice to see you again. Liz from Publicity, sorry my hands are so cold. It's okay. It's like, oh my God. Katy Perry showing up? Yeah. Okay, not a big deal. <laughs> Huge deal. I've been hearing a lot of things about Blister and mm -hmm. that they really like are painful when people put them in their mouth. I mean, those are like rumors and they've been like debunked, like completely okay. like debunked. <laughs> really like. So what we're gonna have you do is just like walk the red uh, carpet. I, you know what, I really can't. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but I actually have my own flaming Hot Pop Chip coming out. Congratulitos. I, I, I'm sorry. I, Blister are really good. You should try one. They're like actually like, it's really good. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. It's really nice. So there's no other way out, right? Well, um, Did you get one of these? Excuse me? Did you get one of these to hold? Uh, no, I, sorry, I can't. I, I can't, this is a conflict of interest. Liz is pregnant, it's just being like a real bitch right now. And I met this guy and he's like the guy from Blisteritos and like he's really nice and he's like, I don't want to no. and like if you don't walk down my car, but like, I'm sorry. Like, Ruth? 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 Ruth. Ruth. Who's Ruth? I have to go. I can't answer any more of your questions. Oh my God, please. Oh. Katie, please. Going. No, no, Katie, no, 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 Katie, no, no, Katie, no, no, Katie, no, no, no. Katie. Katie Perry, Caesar's mom. Hi. 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 Comedy Matters hey. TV. How are you? Caesar's mom. Wow. Yeah. yeah. She's so proud. So proud. And a star oh. on Dad Academy. You saw me Incredible. on Dad oh, Academy. Oh, what a yeah. night for Caesar. He's such a night. My baby's here. Has he told you about Mom Academy? No, he hasn't said a he's word. Probably but not. He's just like, like incredible yet. for a toilet baby to come this far. There's really he's nothing so wrong with this stuff. You know, he's brave. Oh. He's powerful. Oh. Where's Liz? Uh... I'll treat you nice. So I was like walking by the pool, but as I was walking, I fell asleep. And when I fell into the pool, I hit the water super hard, but I still didn't even wake up. And like, I could have died away. And that's why you didn't go to the viewing party? What? No, oh. I thought we were talking about why I'm afraid for summer. I'm not going to the viewing party because Bless Doritos does because it's Miss Cabbages. Oh. And like, also I like can't see the mystery dad. Oh, who's the mystery dad? This has to stay just between us. Okay, I promise. The father of my child is. First of all, like, what the f is going on here? You got new lips without me? No, you were the Rito lips. Would you have known if you had been at the red carpet event, which you weren't, because you were here telling Cassandra that your baby daddy is Caesar? I'm being here held hostages by Cassandra, who basically snuck up to me like a poisonous snake and, like, grappled her arms around me and just, like, twisted the truth out of me. Like, she tried to, like, murder me! Like, she might be, like, a murderer, but, like, I thought we were, like, 
best friends. Liz, it was hard for me to share it because like he's like disgusting and like believe it or not, I love to have fun. But it's like you've been having all the fun by not telling me the truth about things. Like I'm having a baby. I know you're having a baby. I know you're having a baby. Everybody knows you're having a baby. Like we agreed upon with everybody, including the producer, that this is gonna be my year. And now you just me over, okay? I was just red carpet about all by myself and it was a disaster. Trav wasn't even there. Nothing good happens for me ever. And I was like, you're pregnant by like a hot toilet baby and I'm supposed to be happy for you. Yeah, I never Liz, like honestly, I am not gonna stand here and get beasted into if you don't no, simmer no, down. No, 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 I don't accept it. I don't accept it anymore. <gasps> you lost my niece, Denise! I'm my Aunt Elizabeth's um, niece, Denise. You know what? I just have to take this call. You guys sit down and figure Wait, it out. I'm no, Liz? just do it. I gotta Liz? take this. Oh, I'll see you guys in a minute. You're my niece now. I'll treat you nice. Just cleaning up here in the kitchen. Because Sunday doesn't like to work. Or tell her friends ideas about who the father is. Can you get the door, please? Liz, I'm pregnant. Fine, I'll get the door. Hey. Oh my god, it's your niece and niece. Oh my god, my niece and niece. Hi, Aunt Elizabeth. Are you okay? Oh my god, we were so worried about you. What happened to your lips? I ate Blizzaritos. You're not supposed to eat those. Eight kids in our school died at Volcano Head. No, they're fine. Everything's fine. They're not fine. They died. I had We had a group funeral. Are you OK? Did anybody like, touch you? Like, Where were you? I'm fine. I was at Wendy and Aspen's house. I was at a costume party. That's why I'm just like Katniss from The Hunger Games. No, I know what it is. Like, I'm very cool. I know about, yeah, I get it. Oh my god, you have a handwritten letter around your neck. I think letters are like so charming. I found your girl and brought her back because that's what a daddy do. Stay wild. Blah, 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 blah. <gasps> it's from Caesar. Oh my god. Caesar. Caesar brought her back. Why didn't he come in? I think he probably had an appointment. Oh, do you have one? I'll treat you nice. Hey, Oz. Oh, hey, guys. I didn't even recognize me. Like, are you, like, hiding from, like, the paparazzi or, like? I may as well soon be, considering. Considering, like, what? <gasps> bangs! I got bangs! Uh... Congrats. I'm Liz. I had a baby, and now it's time for me to grow up. And I'm Liz. I got bangs. Our PR firm is called Publicity. It's based off our names. I got bangs. You should try it sometime. It's like a cleanse for like your face. They're bangs. They're great. Congratulations. Wait, hold on. Is that a dig? I have bangs now, and like you're being like jealous of like the risk taking that I've done by like getting bangs. Like, are you done? Like, is it over? You think it's like fun for me to have my like best friend like be like, oh my god, like you got bangs, like no big deal. Like, obviously it's like a big deal. Like, Honestly, for me, I don't know what you're talking about. Love your jar. It's a mason. But like, why would you show up to work wearing salmon when you knew that like honestly one of the other executives was wearing salmon? I heard that salmon is healthy for you, but apparently too much can make you sick. I wear salmon all on my own, okay? And I'm swimming upstream, and instead of seeing another salmon, I'm seeing a bear. Really? Because I'm seeing a whale. Liz, I need to talk to you, like. Liz, don't do this. Oh, man. Liz, what has gotten into you? Maybe it's not like what's gotten into me, it's like what's gotten onto me. It's these bangs. I am leaving town until these bangs grow out. 
She's never walked out of a meeting before. Cassandra! What? Cassandra! What? Cassandra, give me my go bag. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bang voyage. <gasps> What? What could possibly be going on right now with you? Nobody cares. Like, honestly, like, where is Liz? She left. You make me sick. I'll treat you nice. Do I have, like, hiring and firing, like, powers? What are my powers? Liz is gone, and I have no choice but to step it up and get down to business. <gasps> well, <yeah. gasps> All these people are like literally slamming binders down on my desk and I'm just like, who are you? In terms of like the money. Oh, that's the white binder? This isn't money. Like that's why there's like problems here. Like what is collateral means? Right now, all I see in front of me is work and I don't see Liz and she's the one that's supposed to do the work. Where is Liz? I'll treat you nice. Oh my Google. I'm back. <laughs> Liz, oh my god. Your bangs have like grown a lot. But like that's the least of it. I've grown as well. Like, we're like sussers. <gasps> and you're like my sussers. It's like that movie Frozen. We're like the sussers from the movie Frozen because they're like characters and like princesses, but like also one is a witch. Yeah. So like Liz, what's been going on since I've been gone? <laughs> And I'm Liz. I got bangs. Our PR firm is called Publicity. It's based off our names. Oh, oh, your car's outside um, for your meeting with Tommy Rothschild. Tommy Rothschild was our newest client, and we looked him up on Google to get more info on him, and there was nothing there, which means he's like ultra important. I'm like full of misery. If this client comes through, I might never have to tell Liz that I up our cash flow. Where are we? Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Like, I feel like I've been here before, but like, I definitely haven't. Thanks so much for meeting with me. <gasps> oh, oh my, my god. god. Tommy Rothschild's entrance just like took my breath away. We've never been to this neighborhood before, but it's like very charming, but like also like shady. Mm. Sounds like an ex of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. Like, is this how we're going to have the meeting? I think it would be best if I came down, because we're certainly not doing it up here. Why not? I would never make a lady walk up even a single step. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. God. Uh, Tommy Rothschild's like such a gentleman. It's like, I'm embarrassed that I have like a little bit of a crush on him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Tommy Rothschild is such a gentleman. Have either of you heard of the Illuminati? Mm -hmm. You know, world leaders, CEOs, movie stars. Of course, those oh. are like our main client bank. Mm -hmm. I need you to organize a top secret event for the world's most powerful people. This is a party for the Illuminati. When I hear the word Illuminati, I hear like naughty. What if this party was like naughty? We don't want this to be a sex party, but. This is a dirty little party. Like it's a naughty little naughty party. No. All right. Great. Have I mentioned how beautiful you ladies are? <laughs> I meant to say it before, but I love your bangs. Mm. I like to compliment women whenever I see them. And just like as a matter on course, like we should probably be discussing like payment forms, which like need to be due to us. I'm all about work and she's all about fun, but like right now Liz is like all about business. Just to be clear, you're certain you can get these people at your event, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you give me an example of one name just so I know you can do this? Have you ever heard of? Barack Obama. <laughs> The people I work with will be very pleased. At the end of the day, you're gonna get what you want. Would you mind repeating that for me? Sure. 
Grand Gallia. I'll treat you nice. Tommy Rothschild, a.k.a. basically Prince Charming, has hired us to throw a party for the Illuminati. Step one, do some research. The top of the Washington Monument. A child's drawing of a witch's hat. A cat's mouth. What do these things have in common? All you have to do is connect the dots. Oh my god, this looks interesting. Mm, this seems like educational. Mm -hmm. This video is like so confusing. The lizards are at the top of all of the major corporations, government agencies, and hit music groups on the planet today. Believe it or not, I was shocked to hear that it's lizards that run the world. This is like so spooky, but like I've always like suspected that there's like something special about me. Did you see that? And you flick your tongue out. Real subtle is I know exactly what game plan you're going with. Honestly, like, as you know, I go to, like, a very expensive dermatologist. Yeah, we all know. Because I had to treat my, like, scaly skin, which is, like, a number one skin problem that, like, most lizards have. Right. Well, like, I feel like if you were, like, a lizard queen, like, you wouldn't, like, literally have pieces of your skin falling off. Like, obviously, I'm a lizard. That's why my name is Liz. It's based on my name, a Lizard. Every single invitation to this event has been declined. What? Let me take a look at this. Are you joking me? Hold on. Barack Obama said no? Lee Gaga said no? Orpa Winfrey said no? Oh my god, Macklemore said no! I'm a lizard queen. It's ironic that you are in the sun right now because honestly, you're acting like she. I'll treat you nice. This party is gonna be amazing. And we should just comment ourselves a job well done. Liz, like, honestly, you couldn't have put it better yourself. And, like, we should comment ourselves on, like, a job well done. Because, like, only time will be to tell, like, who actually is the lizard Liz that, like, does reign supreme and reign. And, like, you're my, like, boss friend. And, like, also my sister. And, like, tonight is, like, just about, like, making the client happy and, like, having fun. Which, by the way, is, like... My favorite thing about it. Let's have a naughty time. <gasps> Liz! You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Cheers. Cheers. Baby, I see you walking, and I like between us, I'm gonna come clean. That's not the real Michael Moore. Barack Obama, thank you so much for coming as President of the United States. Love to introduce you to our actual leader, the Lizard King. Tasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoy your lizard snacks. Hello, Lizards. <gasps> oh my God. God. Tommy's entrance like blew me away. How do you do this? Wow. I snuck up beside the table and uh, hiding my face. Yeah. I looked to see when you guys would look away and then I turned around. Like, what do you think of the event? Everyone here is just a celebrity impersonator besides Mitt Romney. Oh my God. Thank that you. is so kind of get positive reinforcement. What are you talking about? This party sucks. <gasps> I mean, you said you knew these people. This is like for babies. It's Honestly, Liz. Tommy, the idea that you would make me cry in front of the Lizard King, the most respected person in the reptilian overlord community. That's like a major low blow. You just put a crown on an iguana. Honestly, Tommy. Honestly, like basically. Honestly, Tommy, Honestly. it's like. When might we actually be paid? Because that is a pressing issue. How about never? Go! What? Fan out! Get oh, pictures! Oh, 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 Lock the door! Oh, 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 oh. Cassandra! Cassandra, what's going on? Get the evidence, get the photos. Wait. Wait a minute. These aren't even the Illuminati. Why do you have like a flap over your gonker? Are you afraid someone's gonna like bonk your boinker or what? Do you like... know who Tommy Rothschild is? Like, what's his deal? Is he like a gentleman or is he like a bad guy? He's my brother's friend from college. Well, somebody's gonna have to give a payment to Cassandra. Cassandra can't find us. <laughs> <laughs> Are those goggles prescription? Even though we didn't get to confront the secret cabal of plutocrats who control the entire world, it was a pretty good party. The party was like a bit of a bust, but like, <laughs> I want you to know, like, really amazing to see you, like, become, like, the 
<laughs> this woman that I always suspected you to be. They're my saucer, and so I want you to know they lost all of my. I'm sorry, wait. I lost, you lost all, all the money! money. Yeah. The company is doing it, guess whose fault it is? Um, what is? I'll treat you <laughs> We have a meeting with like a super rich client. He's so busy that 6 a.m. is the only time he could meet. What? Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. you need to wake up. Mm-hmm. I'm sleepy. This client could be the one who changes the game for us. Because honestly, our company is out of money. The company is in trouble and I'm gonna save it, even if it means that we have to work with a devil himself. All right, let's get this consultation schnarted, right? <laughs> I'm Liz. I bankrupted the company, and now it's time for me to grow up, because I'm looking for love. And I'm Liz. I got bangs. Our PR firm is called Publicity. It's based off our names. I love your show. I'm a huge fan of your show. Oh my, oh my god. god. Honestly, yeah. I'm modest. I'm like bashful. I'm like yeah. modest. You're so shy and small, and you're so loud and huge. Oh my god, thank y'all. I need to do a full conversion to Judaism, and I need it done now. Oh wow. That's cool. Ever since I flatlined, like, I just love Jews, you know? Like, they're so funny. <laughs> So I need to become a man or whatever, so that's bar mitzvah? You're gonna have a bar mitzvah. So I'll learn Yiddish and then get carried around on a chair by men. Oh my god, welcome to the tribe. Uh, what I'm hearing is that you want to have something like fun that's like Jew. You know, Jumanji. Jumanji. Like respectful to the religion of Judaism, uh -huh. but like also just disgusting. Jumanji is one of my favorite Bonnie Hunt movies that there is. I have tons of money. Uh, I need to be with a socially appropriate man. Someone who's upstanding, like Wendy. You are literally such a stud. It's like, what the honk? Thank you. Oh, thank you. There's got to be a Christmas tree at some point, because otherwise my parents won't pay for it. I think it's really cool that you're going to have Christmas at your own bar mitzvah, because, like, honestly, I'm just trying to say, like, whatever I can to close this deal. For me, it's a very personal mission, because, like, I want to right the wrongs of my own bar mitzvah, oh, which was, yes. like, a very traumatic experience for me. Oh my God, it's happening, oh my God. And then I need to get like brist out. I need to cut my dick apart. It's like no big deal because it's already a little diseasy there. Over the years, my penis has become kind of infarcted. So like, it's gonna be good to just cut it off. He's rich, he's impotent, I'm interested. Oh my God, I just had an amazing idea. Wendy, Sean, you're gonna have a bris mitzvah. Oh what? My God. Did you just come up with that? Mm hmm We'll get the doctor or rabbi to perform the bris itself. Oh, no. My girlfriend's gonna perform the bris. A uh, gorgeous Jewess. I can't believe I'm getting chubbed out by a Jew. I think he's having a real bark through. Would you honor me by letting me take you out to LA Deli to get a nosh? Oh my God, congratulations. Your girlfriend's you, gonna do it. The whole thing is about her. I'm kind of proposing to her after I convert. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. So like you haven't locked it down yet. Like you haven't asked that specific Jewish woman. Like you could ask another Jewish woman. Like there are like different Jewish women like around. It's gonna be so far. What? Did you say it was fun? Wait, wait. Okay. Far. Oh my God. I'll treat you nice. Liz is late, which means I have to get everything ready out here for the Judeo-Christian-themed jungle after party. Okay, I understand. You understand, Cassandra? You really understand? Honestly, because, like, you're pretending like you're saying words that you understand. Okay, I'm gonna answer. So, I don't know what you need to figure out, but you just need to, like, figure it out. We bought two tropical parrots. We're gonna have to take care of them for the rest of their life. We're going all out. We bought these birds for one day of work, and then we're gonna have to take care of them for, like, a hundred years. That's how committed we are at Publicity to make an amazing event. Well, go big or go home. That's what I always say. What do you always see? What did you just always see? It's just an expression. Oh my God, Liz, like, why is my boss front in tears right now? Like, what do you do? I gotta go. Okay, great to see you, Cassandra. Thanks so much, Cassandra, great work. Like, where were you? Honestly, Liz, like, this is really hard for me to see, like, a newly minted, like, Jewish honk, like, Wendy, become part of our faith, and then, like, propose to someone who's, like, not me. Like, that's, like, very butter swipe. Obviously, our company would be much better served if I went inside to run the whole event, but I can't go in there because of all the people memories I have of my old mom and stuff. I had to, like, change my theme at the last minute. It was, like, really okay. And then one of the boys finally danced with me and said I should have had a bar mitzvah because I was, like, so tall and masculine, and I'm 
I like my voice cracked and the rabbi laughed at me and so like it was a very complicated thing and it never always for me. It's like, oh cool, the Christmas tree's oh, here. Oh cool. I have so many unresolved issues. But like it did get me interested in like event planning. <laughs> He's Wendy Sean, he's going Jewish, he's Wendy Sean, he's in the tribe now. What's up? Hey. Hello. My family. I'll treat you nice. Jumanji's suing us for using their font, so at the end of the day, publicity got stiffed. This company is I can't believe we're like packing up publicity. Packing up publicity is really hard because like, I hate packing. It's time for me to take a word of advice from your bangs and grow. From Liz getting pregnant to me getting back. Like we've grown so much. Who can never know like what will be told? And that is the story that like I will discover when my path unfolds on it. Extraordinary. I'm going back to Philadelphia now because like that's where my family is. And I'm gonna like go to the Poconos and like for once in my life, I'm gonna work hard at having fun. Oh my God, Liz, like I love to have fun. And the fact that you're gonna work hard at having fun. Doesn't mean the world to me. God, Liz. What? I'm like crying. Don't you moose out on me now, Liz. Liz, one thing that I've learned from you is that I This has been such an amazing experience. Our business has been amazing. We're always going to be together and that our names are the same. Never forget that. I love you, Liz. I love you, Liz. I got one of your feathers in my mouth. Goodbye. Bye, publicity. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. You look amazing with that box. It makes you look really small. Thank you. Sorry my hug was so cool. Oh my god, you're my boss. Wait, 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 wait,